All right, into Star Pack today for a very strange game. Um, I'd been trying to get Five of a Kinds for quite a while and I decided just to do something else for a change. So the goal with this run was to get two level three storks and have a mantis kill them both at the same time. Um, no particular reason, I just thought it would be amusing and there's probably quite a few level three achievements I don't have for the tier five pets in this pack. However, trying to get two level threes of the same unit in this pack is just an absolute nightmare. So you can see here what I'm doing is I'm preemptively uh, making sure I have Blobfish on the team because I'm going to try and get Mantis as soon as possible because it's the only realistic way of getting um, enough level ups onto the Storks to actually have two level threes. And um, this was kind of an, a, a strange run because I, I'm already on turn six now and I only have one Stork. There were lots of other runs I had where I got to, um, you know, turn three or four and I had multiple, like, you know, three or four Storks on the team already. And then it was just later on that it kind of fizzled out and I couldn't find enough crows, couldn't find enough uh, blobfish. But for whatever reason, even though this is a very slow start in terms of storks, we're going to, um, well, you'll see how it pans out. This team is pretty funny. As much as I was complaining about Hummingbird in the last star, star pack video, the full Hummingbird team, uh, yeah, not, not the greatest strategy, but um, funny nonetheless. And um, here I'm just rolling down looking for the Mantis and we get it. So now we can start working on the base stats level one Stork on turn seven. But Stork is a pretty strong unit overall, even though you're not, if you're not at giving it stats or leveling it up, it's still gradually improving as you go through the turns because it's spawning units from higher tiers. Of course, on turn seven, it's still spawning uh, tier threes, which isn't the greatest, but we do get another Blobfish in the shop here, which is going to mean that in the battle, it'll be a level two and also... Um, Next turn, it's going to be permanently level two. So we get a level on the Mantis as well and a Stork and a Crow. So now things are starting to pick up. Although I've sold the Koala, so the Yak is now going to start to um, destroy itself, basically. Um, but ultimately, we're going to have to get rid of it anyway, so it's not the, the biggest deal. And this is going to be another loss. But that's okay. You know, When you're going for something like this that's uh, super greedy, you're accepting that you're going to um, have to sacrifice quite a few lives. We get the buff from the clownfish as well. And I think here I level the mantis because I need the um, the stats on it sooner rather than later because it's going to be the, the primary carry. And here I decided to take the orca just in case I get something really special out of it. Um, I can't remember what it is. We'll see on the, on the next turn. And one of the things that was really driving me nuts was I was constantly facing... Well, to be honest... There are so many horrendous opponents now in um, in Star Pack. It's pretty unpleasant, to be honest. Um, and here I get uh, lucky to, to scrape a draw. But there were games where I got to the end and I played like five or six Vulture teams in a row. And when they're all set up to be, you know, proper Vulture teams rather than mess about Vulture teams, um, it's uh, really no contest. So I get Deer not the most exciting but here I can sell the deer and get the blobfish in I'm not um yeah I almost made a mistake there but I'm about to realize that I can just sell the deer and get the blobfish so we in theory we have um a level three stork ready to go next turn but I kind of want them both to be fainted by the mantis at the same time and this is a really odd team the full strawberry team but it's uh puffin and uh hummingbird to be honest, I guess Hummingbird is pretty common, but Puffin this late on, you don't see it that much. So here I can level the Stork, and I'm not sure if I what I do. I think I do, because um, for a minute I was thinking I should just keep them separate, because then that means I don't actually have to find another Stork in the shop, because we could get, could get into a situation here where I have Blobfish on deck, but I have no Stork to actually buff with it. So yeah, maybe that was dubious, but the thing is you need to get the Stego in to be able to compete 
with any of these opposing teams and we still need quite a few wins. So, um, you know, <laughs> playing one base stat stock by itself this late just isn't really realistic. Um, now, the other problem is, well, okay, so, so here's the situ exact situation where I get the blobfish, but there's no stork in the team. So I'm just going to have to use it on the Sego. The other problem is that if you want to actually have the Mantis faint the storks and use the summoned pets in the team in the final build, you have to do it um, before the final turn. So, you know, in advance, you don't know if you're going to win when you're on uh, eight wins. And if you win on eight wins and then win on nine, if you didn't faint the storks on eight, then you're not going to see them, uh, see what comes out of them anyway. I think that'll, that'll become clearer in a minute. So so here, yeah, we're on eight. Now, if I had both storks on deck, I would be putting them in now so that on nine wins, um, we can see what comes out of them. However, uh, I've only just started to get the, the next stork going on eight trophies, which is ridiculous, really. Um, and here we get matched with uh, Kyogre. I keep getting matched with him. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the, the same Kyogre. It's the uh, very good versus player and... He was just killing all so many runs, um, and I guess it's to do with the uh, the wins and hearts. Because quite often I I can play for a long time and not get matched with him. But I think also there was a maintenance the other day, so a lot of the, the I assume a lot of the um, teams that were in the pool got got um, removed as a result of that. But in any case, it's actually worked out perfectly because we needed to lose in order to level up the second stork. Unfortunately, there I win, or maybe fortunately, depends how you look at it. But now I need to draw. Um, I guess I can lose as well, but we do find the blobfish. So now I actually need to um, lose or draw back-to-back -back games in order for the blobfish to actually be relevant. Because obviously if I win, it's over, and we don't get a chance to faint the storks. Um, so we just put the blobfish in and hope. And prior to this, I'd actually had a couple of runs where I did eventually get the two level three storks. Um, and I think I might show at least one of those clips at the end. But um, for whatever reason, you know, it, it was too late or, um, you know, it, it just didn't work out. But here, yeah, we're going to lose Velociraptor. I complain about it a lot, but it can uh, sometimes it can help. So we get the level up on the stork. However, now... To double faint the Starks, we have to tie because we cannot lose. So, <laughs> um, I mean, there's not really anything to do but um, but cross my fingers here. So I'm going to give the Stego the uh, pepper to make sure it doesn't get the buff. And now we need a tie. And the opposing team only has one pepper, which is amazing. And I think... Their toad at the back, level three toad at the back, manages to eke out the draw. So now we get to see what comes out of the Starks. And unfortunately, there are no pop-ups because I've had the level threes before. But of course, because I'm committed to Stego at this point, I can't really put um, equipment on anything. Um, I think uh, I think if both Stegos buff the same unit, I'm probably wasting stats at this point. So I'd rather keep them separate, and we're just going to take whatever food is available and replace the grapes with uh, popcorn. And yeah, I'm thinking about moving the mantis, but I might as well just leave it. It's nine wins, one heart. Um, we're, we're fingers crossed for the win here somehow. The stegos give all the buffs to the triceratops. And again, it's a low equipment team because it's husky. However, we get reindeer from the... <laughs> the popcorn and it's another draw so now the mantis double kills the level three tier fives uh yeah what do you do now well the only thing for it is to buy another stego and then maybe i should have frozen the piranha there but actually i roll triceratops and so it's back from the grave but it's only a level one is triple stego going to be enough and we get matched with an opposing Mantis team that has Strawberry, but no uh, Velociraptor. And it's 
been di it's always difficult to tell with Vulture, but I think the buffs from the Stegos are just going to be way too much for the Vulture, even though it's level 3, to deal with. So we somehow get the win over the line after the Mantis has killed two level 3 units on back-to-back -back turns. And here's the bonus clip where I'd actually forgotten to turn on record, and I got double level 3 Fox out of the Storks, but it was much, much earlier. And everything got scaled up, and then on uh, turn 16, I get matched with Kyogre again. And you can see it coming. As soon as you see a Pepper unit at the back line, you know it's all over.